Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely wonderful. We're going to do a weekend love reading for Virgos. We're going to see what's going on with your love situation for the weekend, okay? All right, I do want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so greatly appreciated. If you haven't subscribed to the channel as of yet, please do so. That way you'll get notified of anytime I upload any new video footages, okay? All right. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you for joining me. If you're new, welcome. Guys, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave behind what does not. Don't go trying to make this fit into your life, okay? All right, let's get into this. We're going to see what's going on with your with your love connection or whatever is coming towards you. We're going to get right into this, okay, Virgo? All right. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides me. I call on the goddess that gives me my strength and the angels that protect us. Show me. Show me, dear Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Show me. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Guys, how are y'all doing? I hope y'all doing absolutely wonderful. I hope y'all have a good weekend as well. How did your weekend start so far? Express your love. Hmm. I'm getting somebody. Somebody's interested in you. And you're interested in them. But you are being a little chill. Like you're not expressing any emotions. That's what I'm getting here. Are there someone here in your energy? And they're not showing you the love and the attention that you want? Show me. It says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I say go after what you want. There's someone here. Show me. Getting to know each other. Yeah. There's someone here that you want to get to know or someone wants to get to know you. But I feel like nobody's actually speaking it into existence. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. It says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Don't be scared, Virgo. I'm getting here in the energy. There's a Virgo there that is scared because of all the past hurt, all the past pain. And we, you know how we say that, blah, 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 blah. Not everybody's going to treat you the same. Spirit is saying to always use your discernment, of course, because you've learned the lesson. You know the red flags. You can see it from a mile away now because you've experienced it. But don't go co closing yourself off from new opportunities, new love. Express yourself. And if someone is not expressing themselves to you, I say speak it. I say, you know what, if they're not expressing yourself, just go for it and say, how do you feel? Because you know what, Haven't don't you feel like you've wasted enough of your time? Don't you truly just kind of feel like you've wasted enough of your time waiting for other people to do what they're supposed to do or for them to make the first move? So if you're spending the time, the valuable time that you have right now with someone, interested in someone or in someone's company, and you don't know how they feel, isn't that like kind of a waste of your time? Aren't Isn't that where we're at? I think so. I think so. I think if you're in some type of connection and you don't know how the person feels about you, I think you need to have that conversation. No more wasting time. Yeah. All right. Getting to know each other. So, you guys, some of you guys may be spending time with someone new, getting to know them. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see who's coming towards you for the weekend or who you're going to be spending some time with, Virgo. Guys, if this message does not resonate with you, it's okay, okay? All right. Show me. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Show me. Whoa. That actually just slid out, so we're not going to take that. Show me. Show me who's coming towards Virgo for the weekend. Show me. Show me, Holy Spirit. Who's Virgo trying to spend some time with for the weekend? Let's do that. Who's Virgo trying to spend some time with for the weekend? Family. Hmm. 
All right. <laughs> Ain't that funny? That's not even. <laughs> All right. So for some of you guys, it's going to be a past connection, a past love, a past lover that you're going to. For some of you guys, it's a past love that you're wanting them to express their love to you. You're wanting them to return to you. For some of you guys, this person will be returning to you. For some of you guys, you could have had a family with this person. Or for some of you guys, you could just be spending time with your family for the weekend with all honesty. And when I say that, I'm talking about it could be your spouse, it could be a lover, it could be family, it could be friends, it could be your kids, but it's going to be a family member. Okay, that's how you're going to be spending your weekend. All right. I'm also getting for some of you guys, express your love to your family. Yeah, your kids. Let them know how you feel. Bring some excitement into that. Yeah, there's a lot of love there. And when I see getting to know each other, some of you guys may have a teenager that's kind of standoffish. That message is meant for someone, not everyone. Spend some time with that teenager, getting to know them. Getting to know them all over again because I feel like this, you know how teenagers are. They probably really and truly don't talk. You probably really and truly don't know what's truly going on. You know, I have a teenager. I have an adult child and I have a teenager. And every afternoon when I pick her up from school, I try to have a conversation with her. And this is just a side note. I try to have a conversation with her. And I'm, you know what? I always be like, okay, mom, tell me what's the tea. Why? Because I want her to feel like she can, I'm learning. My girls are 10 years apart. So I am learning I'm trying to get into, you know, because kids, they, when they get to a certain age, they tend to hold things in. They try to be strong so the parents don't, the, they see the parents going through all sorts of things in life in terms of trying to take care of them, trying to take care of the home, trying to deal with relationships, trying to deal with family. So kids take on that energy just like we take on that energy. So they're trying to, oftentimes trying to protect the parents from their pain so they don't add more stress to the parents. So I always try to communicate with my kids so that they feel like they can be a child, so that they feel also that I'm a safe place. And I was telling her that in the car last night. I said, well, you know, when we're driving, I said, I'm asking you these questions. I said, because I want you to tell me. I said, because like, you know, if I ask you and you tell me, it doesn't matter what you tell me, I will never be mad or I'll never judge because I ask the question and it's an open, it's, it's, it's open season. But if something happens and I've already asked you and you chose not to tell me, then I'm going to be pissed. So we had that kind of conversation. I feel like for some of you guys, there's someone here in this energy. You need to have that with your kid. You need to have that with your kid. Guys, this is just a side note. If it doesn't resonate, let it go. All right. I got some new cards. I try to get new cards every week because I like them. I like cards. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on with Virgo for the weekend. And we're going to clarify these cards. Show me Holy Spirit. Show me what's going on with Virgo for the weekend. Show me. Show me what's going on with Virgo for the weekend. Hmm. You are the breath. Oh, I like that card. Mm. All right. Is there anything that we need to see for Virgo for the weekend? Is there anything else that we need to see for Virgo for the weekend? You are the breath. Listen and connect to your intuition. So you're going to be, look how beautiful this card is. I really like these new cards. It says you are the breath. I feel like you're going to have a nice weekend. I feel like you're going to have a nice weekend. And I feel like it's going to be kind of easy breezy. Like I'm getting here in the energy. It's not going to be harsh or like, I just feel like it's going to be relaxing. But I'm also getting that there's going to be people that you're going to run into this weekend. And they're going to be so appreciative for your energy. They're going to be so appreciative for your energy. You do have some of you guys, you do have a past love connection that's coming towards you, though. We're going to see what's going on here as a past lover. So somebody's coming in. This somebody's probably ch trying to come in to hook up. Hmm. But a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are going to be spending time with your family this weekend, which is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Hmm. Let's see. 
Let's see. You are the breath. Listen and connect to your intuitions. Listen to your intuitions, guys. Definitely listen to it's going to be you're going to be called to listen to your intuitions this weekend. I can tell you that much. Because of course there you're going to there's always something going on. There's always something going on. You always got to be ready. All right. Who is Virgo expressing their love to this weekend or who is expressing their love to Virgo this weekend? Show me Holy Spirit. Whoa. Six of Cups. Somebody from your past. Somebody that you may have kids with. Somebody that um, could be a past, a past connection. Someone that you may have kids with or someone that you may have known when you were younger. Yeah. Who is this person? Show me the Six of Cups. Show me the Six of Cups for Virgo. Whoa, whoa. Okay. All right. So then we have the Queen of Swords and the Two of Wands. Of course, this is someone coming back. And this is a Queen of Swords energy that is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. So for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with somebody, um, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or somebody that has that in their chart. This person is coming back to express their love to you. And this is someone, because with this two of wands, this is someone that may have moved on, moved away. This could have been somebody that may have moved away from you or moved away from where you guys may have grown up or however that goes. But you may run into this person for the weekend. And this person is kind of, I'm kind of getting in the energy. Some of you guys, this is somebody that you may have dated in school and you haven't seen this person in a very long time, but you're going to run into this person and this person's going to express their love to you or express how they felt for you at one point in time and try to open the channels of communication again. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. That message is meant for someone, not every one. All right. Who is Virgo getting to know? Who is Virgo getting to know? Show me Holy Spirit. Who is Virgo getting to know? But you know what I also got for some of you guys? You could be running into like a sibling and you're going to express your love to that sibling. It might be a sibling you haven't seen in a while, like a family member that you have not seen in a while. That's what I'm getting as well. And it's somebody that may not live where you live. That message is meant for someone. That message is meant for someone, not everyone. All right. So we have the Page of Swords. Somebody that's been watching you, the moon, and somebody has secrets. Somebody they you don't know they you don't know how they truly feel about you. This this person is coming in to. Hmm. Okay, this is actually someone that's coming in with passion. And you you don't know how this person truly feels about you. It says getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens because this person has not expressed to you how passionate they are. So this is somebody that actually feels emotions. This is somebody that actually is highly attracted to you. This person is highly attracted to you, but this person is a tad bit immature. This person does not does not know how to express their emotions very well. That's what I'm getting here or how they feel. They kind of come across as, even though they're attracted to you, even though they're kind of like, they may try and flirt with you, but it's kind of like cheesy. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. But this person, yeah, this person with the moon in reverse, this person, you don't know that this person actually feels anything for you. See, that's that energy. Like somebody is not expressing how they truly feel, whether it's your energy or this person's energy. Somebody's not expressing. Show me the moon for Virgo. Show me the moon for Virgo. Two of Swords in reverse. No, 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 this is Two of Swords. All right, so somebody has a decision to make between two. Yeah, this is somebody that may already be in a connection, actually. This person may already be in a connection. So that's probably why this person is not actually expressing to you how they truly feel. Um, because I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting player ways. I'm getting kind of player ways. Um which could be that past love, that past lover that I said that's probably coming in just to try and hook up. Yeah, let's see. Show me this two of swords. The emperor, the emperor in reverse though. See, yeah, that person, this person is very egotistical. 
See, this person is coming towards you. This person thinks highly of themselves. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. This person thinks very highly of themselves. And this person is, thinks that they can come in and out of your life whenever they want. And they feel like they have that right. Yeah, I don't like that energy. Like that that entitlement energy, I don't like that energy. And they're going to come try in. And I, I feel like somebody's going to come in that's going to try and be like a sweet talker. Somebody's going to be very flirtatious. Yeah, they're going to look good. They're going to be very tempting. I can, I, can, I can feel this in this energy. This person's going to look good and this person's going to be very tempting. It's at your discretion, but that's what's coming towards you. That's who's coming towards you this weekend. This message is meant for someone, not everyone. All right, what's this past love for Virgo? What's this past love for Virgo? Mm. Three of Swords. Someone that you, you are blocking yourself from this person. I see the ooh, okay so we have the sun that strong Leo energy then we have okay you have Aries too I, I, I wasn't reading the signs to you guys you have Aries with this this could be an Aries that you're going to be getting to know as well all right and then we have the world that's Scorpio and can, uh, Capricorn energy but we have the world in reverse so there's something here that brought you a lot of happiness at one point in time but let me tell you this person caused you a lot of pain look at look look how look look at her look at her this person caused you a lot of pain. This person wants to come back in. Why? Because I feel like this person wants to hook up. This person wants to come. This person's coming back in and they're trying to get back. They, they're going to try and get back in your pants. I can tell you that much. They're definitely going to try and get back in your pants because I feel like they feel like that's going to be a window of opportunity because this person does see happiness with you and you may have been happy with this person at one point in time. Okay. But this cycle, this like you closed the, you closed the book on this. But this is coming right on back around. This this is somebody that's coming right on back around. It could be somebody that you have manifested that you're getting back. But I don't know. I don't know how you're going to really feel. Like, because I feel like that's where this listen and connect to your intuition comes in. You see, because I feel like when you're going to come in this person's in, like in this person's sphere and you're going to feel their energy, you're going to, you're going to know, I feel like you're going to know that this person hasn't changed. I feel like you're going to definitely know this person has not changed. And while there's going to be temptation there, because I see the temptation, I just, I feel like at the end of the day, you're going to know that this person hasn't changed. And let me tell you, this, this person is scared. This person has been through a lot. This person is, I don't like this feeling. I don't like this feeling. Show me this three of swords. The wheel in reverse it's like a never-ending cycle it's like a never-ending cycle with you and this person it really is it really is hmm you know the cards don't lie it really is whoever this is for some of you guys you do have a past love that's coming in and it's like a never-ending cycle but let me tell you there's no trust there there's no trust and i'm getting somebody that has a smile on their face and you want to pop them because <laughs> it ain't funny like is I'm getting that kind of feeling. Yeah. I'm not liking that. Let's move on. All right. Let's see let's see what's going on with this family. Let's see what's happening with you and your family this weekend. And it could be it could be friends, you know that as well, right? Soul family, like people that you just kind of hang out with, chill. All right. Let's see. Show me Holy Spirit. Show me what we need to see for Virgo. Show me show me what's going on with Virgo's family this weekend. Show me what's going on with Virgo's family this weekend. Oh. Ace of Pentacles. So you're going to be spending some money. Ace of Pentacles came out in the reverse. You're going to be spending some money or somebody is going to need money from you this weekend. Somebody's going to, yeah. You're going to be spending some money. Show me this Ace of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, and look how. Mm. All right, so let's see. I asked the question. Of course, the divine is gonna tell me what's going on here. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like somebody here is stressed out about finances within their family. I feel like there's gonna be some something un, unforeseen this weekend. Some type of bill or something may happen, and it's gonna it's gonna require you to dig in your pockets. And I see stress because I see somebody stressing over finances already. I do. Let's see. 
let's see but I can also say that there's someone here that may be in some type of third party something you could have a um a past love that is financially struggling and that third party energy could be like work it could be like you know there's like it could it could be a thing that's causing the stress about finances all right so that message is meant for someone not everyone as well show me this three of pentacles show me this three of pentacles yes the three of wands so you could have someone traveling or you may need to travel and to family or a family member traveling towards you and it's going to stress you out because of the finances i feel like it's I'm, i feel like i have somebody here in this energy it's hard for you to look into the future with your finances because of the financial struggles you're having right now this is not where i was trying to go with this reading in terms of your family but that's what's coming out here so somebody needs to hear this show me this three of wands or for some of you guys you could have a family member coming back towards you because they are financially struggling and they need help okay that message meant for someone as well show me this three of wands show me this three of wands for virgo temperance go with the flow spirit is saying just to go with the flow don't stress about it okay somebody here has been stressing somebody here there's going to be stress is going to come towards you with you and your family spirit is saying for you to go with the flow enjoy the time you have enjoy the moments okay just go with the flow try your best to do your best in terms of your finances try your best to do your best okay spirit is saying but for you to go with the flow and enjoy the moment because i see happiness i see you truly enjoying what's going on i, I see you truly enjoying spending time with certain individuals certain people so just try to alleviate from popping a cork okay just try and calm yourself all right, because you're listen to your intuition. I want you guys to listen to your intuition throughout the weekend so you can weed through the people that may work your nerve or may not work your nerve. Okay, so this is where I will leave you guys. And I absolutely positively hope you have an absolutely positively great weekend. Until next time, Virgo. Bye.